Crushing it, guys. Crushing it. Took me five whole minutes to figure. I'm going to nail this. Someday, I am absolutely going to nail this. Um, For anybody who's been waiting for me, I'm so sorry. And here we go. Okay, so um, springtime is just around the corner. Uh, we were just looking at our garden here and talking about digging it up. And uh, that requires a back and shoulders, um, a strong core, and a stable base. Especially if you've got little kids running around your feet. Trying not to hit them with a shovel, always a big plus. So, a few exercises that I've got for building that strong base, especially as we go into spring. These are easy ones that you can do at the end of the day. Um, you can do them while you're watching a show, relaxing, drinking a glass of wine, having some water. You can do them while you're drinking a cup of coffee in the morning, waiting for your kids to get off to the bus. Um, most of these you could probably do while you were waiting for the bus. Um, you can do them at the trunk of your car. You can do them in the grocery parking lot. There's just one, maybe two. Yeah, there's a kneeling one and a lying down one. I wouldn't do that in the parking lot at the grocery store um, or the trunk of your car. But regardless, as always, we're talking about opening up the body. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through these exercises and we'll make sure that we can get the camera pointed where it needs to be. What do we think? Yeah, we'll try it. We'll see. And if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments and we'll go from there. All right. So without further ado, our first one is we're opening up the chest. Find yourself a doorway. All right, hands on either side of the doorway. You're gonna lean in. You can step in if you want. I like that one personally, but if you wanna just put two feet and lean in, sturdy doorway, please. Nothing crazy, because you don't need to go and kiss the floor. Um, this is for your pecs. So when we're doing this, we wanna feel it right through the top of your chest. And so as you lean in, move your arms up and down and find the spot that stretches the thing that you need most stretch that. All right. So here we go. For me, right here, that's where I feel it most. I'm do a little step in and get a bigger stretch. 30 seconds. There we go. All right. Second stretch, scaling stretch. So this little spot right here, right where your scalenes come in and attach, they get tight. They lift that first rib up. You get locked up in your neck. You get locked up in your shoulders. No good. So hands on your chest. Pull down. Take up the slack in that skin. Pull down. And then stretch away and back. You're going to feel it all through here. On the side you're stretching away and back from. So go back. And then away. Hold that for 30 seconds. And then same with the other. Oh, I want to feel crack other direction and all right through here you're gonna feel it right down into that spot 30 seconds and you're gonna do that three times for 30 seconds both sides okay next one we do to open up nice hip flexor stretch so you're gonna get yourself into a half kneel position open that hip up lean forward you're gonna feel a stretch right down your thigh you just lean forward if you want to tilt your pelvis to get a better stretch, so think about arching your back and then coming forward against that arch. So think about like, you know, the cat cow. Tilt your pelvis backwards like your pelvis is a cup. And you're just going to dump that cup out the back. You should get a better stretch up near the top of your pelvis. And then you can push forward into it. Breathe. Good upright posture. This knee doesn't need to crack over that foot. You're just driving through that hip forward, pull for 30 seconds, then switch, same thing, nice stretch, tilt that pelvis, oh there it is, get a good stretch right through the front of that hip, good, and again, this is helping your body remember where it should be tight and where it should be loose, if we get too tight in the front, we come forward with our shoulders, we extend with our neck, we get loose in the abdominals, tighten the low back. Tighten the hip flexors, loosen the bum. All right? 
Nice little hip flexor stretch. This is a good one. Balance and reach. Find yourself a chair. I'm not gonna use that one because it's on wheels. I'm gonna use this right here. Balance, okay? We're just gonna reach forward and then come back up. This is here if I need it. Reach forward. Little bend in that knee that you're standing on. So let's see, we'll do it from the side so you can see it. Little bend in that knee. Reach forward. Come back up. Tighten the tummy, tighten the bum. Good posture. Woo! There we go. We've got a little row here. Let's see. Use my water bottle. Forward row. Go ahead and put your hand in your knee. Again, don't use a rolly chair. This is a bad example, but it's what I've got right now. So feel free to put your knee on a couch. Forward, row back, row back. Again, we're opening the chest. We're getting those shoulder blades working. Three sets of 10. Switch sides to the other side. And the last one is a beauty. All of these exercises, comment springtime, I will send you the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. Pictures, explanations, everything. I'm gonna do my best to do this where you can see me. All right, so a little core special here for you. All right, no arching in the low back. Low back flat on the floor, knees up, arms up. Cross the body, cross the body. Keeping that low back flat the whole time. Engaging your obliques, your transverse abdominis. So as you crunch, I want you to blow out. Locks in that transverse abdominis so you're not pushing out against your abdomen. You're tightening everything in. All right? So. Really getting that core nice, tight, and controlled. Do not come up like you're some sort of ninja. Don't hinge at the waist and throw your body up. That's just gonna pull in your low back and your hip flexors. Roll to your side, half kneel. Up you go. <sighs> All right, that is it for springtime. We got a little balance, we got a little opening, we get a stretch, a strengthen. Yeah, do that every day, a couple weeks. I think you'll see great improvements. If anything hurts, don't do it. Reach out, we can troubleshoot. Um, sometimes your body is not designed for that exercise and that is a-okay. We'll figure it out. Um, call me if you need me. All right. Bye guys. Have a great day. Enjoy the beautiful weather.